Hi guys, good morning. Today is August 25th and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. My ovulation day was August 19th. I did several ovulation tests and the last one that I did on August 18th was showing me that I was in the peak. Usually is in the next 24 to 48 hours that you can have an ovulation. So I marked my ovulation day as the next day on the August 19th. I had also cervical mucus that like really confirmed that I was uh, really near to ovulation. So today I would be in six days after ovulation. I also did a basal temperature, like I measure my temperature since Sunday. So today is Wednesday. My numbers have been pretty much 98 Fahrenheit point something. Between 98.2 to 98.7, since it's high, it also confirms that I already ovulated because usually when you, before ovulation, the temperature ranges 97 degrees Fahrenheit. With my last pregnancy, I was able to get a positive result for pregnancy when I was seven days after ovulation. So I'm gonna do a pregnancy test today at six days after ovulation and according to my cycle it's, uh, it's always 28 days I would be nine days before my menstrual period I don't know if I'm gonna be pregnant or not because the days we had intercourse was very further from ovulation compared to the others the other times I got pregnant so everything's really different here this time around, with this third time we're trying to conceive, uh, I had intercourse, um, well, two, three, four, and five days after my menstrual period finished. I had intercourse on three, four, five, and six days before ovulation. Uh, so if my ovulation day is really on the, if it was really on August 19, there's a chance that, uh, since I had the course on August 16 and it's three days before ovulation, there's a chance that I could get pregnant. But if my ovulation day was the day after on August 20, then it's it would be four days before ovulation. So yesterday when I took my temperatures, I know that it can tell it you have to be high for 18 days and above to be able to see that you're pregnant. It has to stay high, like your concentration of hormones. It will keep your temperature higher. On Sunday, my temperature was 98.2 Fahrenheit. On Monday, it was 98.7 Fahrenheit. On Tuesday, it was 98.5. And today, it was 98.4. So, it may not mean anything because it's still under 98 degrees. So, it may be that I'm still high. and uh, uh, But because I'm still high, that, that means that I really ovulated because you only go higher when, uh, when you ovulate. So, anyways. So let's do the test. <laughs> I got this little monkey with me. You gonna be with mommy? Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna use this first response pregnancy test. It's supposed to be early result pregnancy, six days sooner, that means six days before my period, but I'm nine days before my period, so. Uh, but it, it was the best test from all the ones I tried last, uh, last time I got pregnant with him. <laughs> I tested with the Dollar General pregnancy test, first response, and clear blue. Uh, the clear blue that has the digital and the clear blue that is not digital. And from the ones I tested, the one that I had uh, more clear lines in the very beginning, like with, at seven days DPO, it was um, it was this one. So that's why I got her when I had and bought this one. So I'm gonna use that one. You wanna have a little brother? <laughs> you wanna have a little sister or brother? <laughs> I think he think it's food. I'm gonna say I'm not with high hopes, so I'm gonna say I'm not pregnant because last time I was really like, no, I think I, I'm gonna be pregnant, but this time around I'm not so confident. I already peed in the cup, so that's that was my first pee in the morning. I have to dip this five seconds in the pee and then wait three minutes for the result and stay. It has to be stay flat. So let me grab my pee. You're probably not wanting to see it. Mississippi one, Mississippi two, Mississippi three, Mississippi four, Mississippi five. Here you go. Let's see. Ah, exciting. <laughs> what do you think? You think I'm pregnant? <laughs> 
Do you think I'm pregnant? 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 Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. I say no. No. No, mommy. I wanna be just me. I wanna just me to be the baby. Comment down below if you think it's positive or negative. Okay, so three minutes. Let's see what it is. It's negative that I don't see any line here at all. No. I don't think I'm pregnant. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It may be negative because it didn't detect pregnancy yet. But it could be positive in the next few days if I try again. It's really, really too early and maybe I did take a longer time to conceive compared to the other, uh, other pregnancies. I guess I'll wait and test tomorrow. I'll see you next time I, I decide to test. All right. Okay guys, so call me crazy, but I think I'm gonna go to do a blood exam. I am uh, too um, curious to see I'm pregnant or not, so I'm gonna go to the walk-in lab near the closest to me. It's about 30 minutes away from here. So I'm gonna drive over there and I'm gonna do the blood pregnancy test and see if I'm pregnant or not. The blood test is more accurate as far as like the HCG levels in the blood. I try to call different doctor office because I'm near this area so I don't have a primary physician yet. I don't know anybody. The offices I called, one of them is only open in November uh, for appointments. Uh, the other one, I could go there but it was gonna cost me like it was a walk-in clinic uh, the clinic was gonna cost like at least three hundred dollars i'm not gonna pay three hundred dollars to to do a, a blood test where i could just wait and and see if i'm pregnant or not like when i miss my period but i mean 47 dollars i think it's worth i think my husband's gonna kill me because i told him that i need to run some errands and at home with the kids and he's uh he's doing he's doing his project that he needs to do in the computer what are you thinking are you thinking I'm, I'm crazy to do that i think my sister would tell me that i'm crazy because my sister she she would wait until she's late at her as until she misses her period doesn't want to be anxious so she just waits and she doesn't think about it she doesn't worry about it i am that I wanted to know right away like I don't want to wait I want, why wait weeks if I can know now so <laughs> um, I want to know as soon as possible because I want to plan my my first prenatal appointment and it's usually they're full for a month so we have to call a month in advance and I I don't want to you know to be late at my first appointment we'll see how it goes there so I just got to the lab right now. I'm gonna do the blood test for the pregnancy. Ah, let's see how it goes. I just finished with the lab and the lady there was so sweet and she put a pink, uh, how you call this, bandage to give me luck to like, to make sure it was I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna get a baby girl so say so, hey I'm gonna put this on your arm to give you luck that you have a baby girl and so she's hoping that I get pregnant I, I googled it and it says that you have to be at least six days after ovulation so I'm very like the, the earliest it can be to get a blood result you know the truth is like I don't know if it's gonna be positive because it may be too early it may be not detect anything right now but I will still test I'm gonna buy a couple first response tests and I'm gonna test for the next three four days at home pregnancy I'm not gonna do another blood test if it comes out negative I'm just gonna wait to see if I'm gonna miss my period and see how it goes but ah, I got so excited because 
I have all my hopes are high and I'm just gonna keep hoping that I, I'll get pregnant and if I don't then I'll deal with that later but right now I'm just I just want to be happy and, and and hope for the best so I'll update you guys as soon as I know uh, about the results will come in one or two days and we'll see you tomorrow for the next pregnancy test